Stick around for the next video. I'm going to talk about the skills that they taught me in school starting from year one to year five. <music> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jimmy. A lot of you guys have been asking me, is it possible to become an industrial designer without going to school? And if you guys have watched my videos in the past, I've always said yes. And the idea is that when I look back about the things that they taught us in school, plus now being a professional, the stuff that I believe what you need to become an industrial designer, I think that a lot of these skills can be learned on the internet and if you're dedicated and um, you stick to it and you try to practice every day, is it possible? 100% is possible. There are careers out there where you kind of have to go to school, you know, like to become a nurse or to become a doctor or a, a lawyer. You kind of need that piece of paper and get licensed and to become that kind of career path person. And But when it comes to industrial design, it's kind of a little bit of both. You know, school is going to definitely help you a lot, but doesn't mean that you can't become an industrial designer if you don't don't go to school or have the degree. No, you absolutely can be industrial designer. I've seen people that are doing industrial design like jobs and positions that have come from other careers. And so it's definitely 100% possible. And so the only thing that is really missing from you guys, the list. The list of skills it takes to learn in order to become a competent, complete, confident industrial designer. And so that's why these videos and that's what this series of videos are going to be talking about. Lesson one is, is this a smart thing on your part? You know, is this the right thing or should you really just go to school? And I would have to say is if you are a natural industrial designer, then Absolutely, you can become an industrial designer and I do recommend this path for you. But if you're not a natural industrial designer, I do recommend attending school and, and, and having school help you along the way. So what do I mean, you guys are probably wondering, what do I mean when I say natural industrial designer? A natural industrial designer is, I would define as someone who has shown industrial design-like behaviors before they even knew what the career is all about. Uh, for example, when I was young, about 14 or 15, I was super excited because the first Sony PlayStation Portable was gonna be released and I was saving up all my money and I finally bought this thing. I was so excited, I went online and I tried to read everything that I could and I read this thread where everyone was sharing all their complaints uh, with the PlayStation Portable. I wish I had two joysticks. Or I wish it was smaller, or more ergonomic. And so I read all this stuff and I agreed with a lot of them. And what I did was I pretty much just at the age of 14 or 15, you know, I started designing. I started trying to solve these problems that these people had. And I posted it online. I, you know, I sketched it all out and people, you know, people t took well to it. And so I did this for fun, you know, like, like on a Tuesday night, like instead of firing, you know, playing a video game, which, you know, I did to do that too. But um, instead of playing the video game though, or instead of, you know, going out to play soccer or doing this or that, I decided to sketch and draw. And um, this is just something naturally that I've done before and, and I discovered industrial design when I was 20, you know, 20 or 21. Before this, I wanted to be a car designer. I didn't even know what industrial designer was, but I wanted to de design cars. That's what I knew. Uh, before that, I wanted to be a graphics designer. Before that, I kind of wanted to be an artist, like a fine artist where I made stuff, you know, made sculptures and stuff like that because I kind of loved form and looking at form. So this is what I mean when I say a natural industrial designer. From all of the very, you know, and talented, some of the best industrial designers I know, in the past, they've had something uh, that, that kind of like led them to become an industrial designer. And when I talk about success, and of course that's what we are all about uh, here on the channel is trying to become a successful industrial designer, make money, uh, do stuff that we always love to do. When it comes to that, of course, a lot of it is hard work. You know, you can't deny that. The other part is really honestly finding your match. You know, a lot of people are really numbers inclined. Uh, then maybe they should be an accountant or a mathematician. You know, some people love helping people. You know, maybe they should be a doctor or, or a psychiatrist. Some people, you know, they, they, they just tend to gravitate towards a certain thing because that's just how their mind works. And I talk about this a lot. And so if you're able to find your match, this will 
help you so much throughout your whole career because it's something that you love doing and something that you just naturally your mind just naturally goes to so like that's why i don't recommend it when some people kind of just want to dabble in industrial design thinking that oh this looks kind of fun i'm telling you you know like i don't recommend it for them just because there have been people you know that have been doing this ever since they were a kid and so they're just going to get eaten eaten alive by these people, you know, if they're going to try to compete. So I don't recommend, you know, just dabbling in industrial design. If you think this is the right match for you, if you are a natural industrial designer, and if you don't want to go to school, highly recommend you watch these videos. All right, guys, so stick around for the next video. I'm going to talk about the skills that they taught me in school starting from year one to year five at Cal State Long Beach. So if you guys don't want to miss that, definitely hit that subscribe button so you, that you don't miss a video. Also hit that little bell thing that everybody always says. Also hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video and you learned a thing or two. And super excited about this all. It's great to be back on. I will catch you in the next video. Peace, guys.